Hello everybody and welcome to today's video and in today's video I'll be doing a 2024 election prediction between Kamala Harris and Mike Lindell. Um, funnily enough, Mike Lindell was mentioned in Wikipedia as the, um, or potential. I thought it was publicly expressed, publicly expressed interest. Um, I guess I got it from potential, um, potential candidates. Um, I think I've done a prediction with all these people in here. Um, but regardless, um... That is today's prediction. I'm gonna go get started by opening all of Harris's save states. Um, all these states here. For whatever reason, I'm just having trouble labeling states. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, and then for Rondell save states. Um, here we are. Oh, Mississippi's not safe. Missouri could be safe. I mean, like it's kind of hard to tell. Um, for Harris, it's likely safe. She gets New Mexico and Nebraska second. Minnesota, Maine at large, New Hampshire and Virginia. In New Mexico, Lindell's not going to do well enough um, with the working class with oil workers, whereas Harris is going to do well enough with the Hispanic Latino vote. Nebraska second. Lindell's going to do really poorly in the suburbs, whereas Harris is going to be pretty strong in the suburbs. Um, in Minnesota, I mean, like it is Lindell's home state, I believe. He's still not going to turn out, um, he's still not going to do very well with the working class. I see him generally, um, being a pretty good candidate for rural voters, um, but that's about it. I don't see him doing very well in the suburbs either, and Maine at large and New Hampshire, um, with Maine at large being pretty inelastic, but also farther to the left of New, farther to the left of New Hampshire. Um, I mean, like... I don't see Lindell having the appeal to white, rural, college-educated voters. Um, in Virginia, I don't see him having the appeal in the suburbs, and I see her saying well enough with the black vote, even though he'll re he will retain a lot of Trump rural turnout. For his likely states, he gets Nebraska's first, Kansas, Missouri, Indiana, South Carolina, Alaska, and Mississippi. In Nebraska's first, he's going to do worse in the suburbs in Kansas. He's going to get... Um, actually, he's going to get a pretty good rural turnout, which is probably a little bit less. And, um, Harris is going to be one off in the suburbs. Missouri, he's going to get, um, get a slightly less rural turnout, but Harris is going to be pretty well in the suburbs. Um, it, Missouri could be safe. Missouri's on, like, the line between being likely and safe. Um, Indiana, Mundell is going to do worse with the working class, whereas Harris is going to do very well in the suburbs, um, do very well in Indianapolis, do very well with the black vote in Gary. South Carolina, Mississippi, Mississippi being, like, probably five, six, seven, um, percent to the right of South Carolina. I don't see Lindell turning out as many white rural voters. Once again, he's still a phenomenal candidate for the rural vote, but just he's going to turn out slightly less. Um, whereas Harris is going to do very well with um the black vote, and in Alaska, Lindell's going to do pretty poorly with oil workers, and we're going to see one more Native American voters turning out, which is going to continue to shift it to the left. Paris is lean state, she gets Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Georgia. Nevada, Lindell's going to turn out slightly less rural voters, whereas Harris is going to be pretty wealthy Hispanic ones. You know, it'll probably be a fairly similar margin of victory in Wisconsin. Actually, across the entire route, well, Wisconsin being the most conservative, Michigan being the most liberal, Pennsylvania being the mo or being in the middle. Um, Harris is going to do very well in the suburbs. She's going to do very well with the black vote in a lot of these bigger cities. Whereas Lundell is going to do worse with the working class. Honestly, the working class may become, um, they they may have a a far less significant impact, um, because I, I don't see as many working class voters turning out, and I also see them doing worse, slightly worse with the rural vote. Michigan could be likely. It could be. Oh, um, by the way, he also gets Iowa and Ohio likely. Um. I see him doing worse with the... Honestly, Iowa's still probably going to be further to the right, because I see him doing slightly worse with the rural vote. Ohio's going to be a trouble... It's going to be trouble for, keep it, for him to keep it likely. He's going to do worse with the working class, do slightly worse with the rural vote, do worse with the black vote, and do worse in the suburbs, which is going to hurt him. I see him doing well enough with the rural vote to be able to keep it likely. Um, anyways, for Harris in Georgia, um, she's going to do well enough with the black vote, and Lundell's not going to turn out as many rural voters, which will keep it lean for her, or which will make it lean for her. For Lindell's lean states, he gets Texas, and that is it. Sorry, I just yawned. Um, you're nice in Texas. 
And Dallas is going to do worse than the suburb of Suarez. He's going to do worse with the Hispanic Latino vote. And he's going to turn out less rural voters. Once again, he's still a very good candidate for rural voters. We're just going to turn out less rural voters. For the final three tilt states, or four, the three tilt states in the congressional district, the states go to Harris and the district goes to Lindell. So in Arizona, Harris is going to um, do well enough for the Hispanic Latino vote. And I see her doing well enough in the suburbs. I see the this traditional um, conservative suburbanite um, demographic having a smaller share of the electorate because I see significantly less turn in that, turning out. Um, I see Harris doing better with those that do turn out. Um, probably, probably. I could see a lot of, um, very conservative, um, members of that demographic who full, who would come out in full support for Lindell. Um, but I also see Harris doing well enough for the Hispanic Latino vote. She carries it narrowly. In Florida, she's going to do well enough for the Hispanic Latino vote. She's going to do, um, pretty well in the suburbs. And Lindell is going to do horrendous with older white voters. So they may become fairly, um fairly, um, the Republican have a fairly small share of the electorate. Couldn't find the right word there. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'll have to spend an entire video looking for one word. Um, at least for that circumstance. Anyways, in North Carolina, um, Lundell's gonna turn out slightly less rural voters. However, Harris is gonna do better in the suburbs and do better with the black vote. And the working class is gonna turn out at lower rates. In Maine second, I see Lindell having just enough populist appeal to be able to narrowly, narrowly carry a Harris. I also don't think has a whole lot of populist appeal, which would probably make it difficult for her. Um, so I'm going to narrowly give it to Lindell. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please, like, please leave a like below. Stay tuned for my next video tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, please comment your suggestions down below, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.